Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I want to share a project with you. Um, Ciara Miller, who is the owner of C&C Crafts and Antiques on Etsy. Uh, I had bought a uh, spring kit from her, an Easter kit, and she said she'd like to send me uh, a couple of things to play with to see what I could do with them. So I said okay and um, she sent me these beautiful bridal appliques. This is all I have left and uh, she also sent me this um, crocheted heart-shaped frame and then this beautiful tassel here and this is all hand crocheted by Ciara and it's just absolutely beautiful and she crocheted the um, heart also and it has these little dangles on it um, so I I took them and as you can see I uh, I used a um, embroidery hoop and this is what I came up with and I hope she likes it uh, I started off with, uh, it's, it, somebody had sent me this, and I, I can't remember who, but it was a, a, a round quilted, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a doily, but it's just, it was quilted using this like eyelet trim, this quilting batting behind it, and then it had this trim here around it. So I put that on top of the hoop. Well, actually, first I put muslin in the hoop, and then I put this on top, and then I added this trim here all around, and then I finished that off with uh, this braid trim here. And then I just started to uh, embellish. Uh, this beautiful trim here and the doily underneath it was made for me by um, Patrizia Pat S on YouTube during our swap she crocheted me some items and sent them to me and uh, I just thought it went perfectly with this frame uh, you know uh, behind it and so I put those behind it and then I put the frame on top of that and then I just started playing with she had sent me a a, a bunch of these uh, little mini doilies and Ciara I don't know if you crocheted these doilies um, if you did it they're amazing they're so small but uh, anyways I made a couple flowers out of them out of just the doilies and then I what I did was I fussy cut there were flowers on some of these and so I just loved these beaded flowers so I fussy cut those I fussy cut those behind here um, I added another one on top of this dangle that she had made and then I just I added some ribbon flowers and I added some of my clay flowers here and there um, over here I added um, these are I'm not sure what they're made of I think they're porcelain but I'm not positive and um, these are cross supplies for you uh, and um, let's see I added some bling pieces in the middle of the doily flowers and really that's that's all I did but look at how I just, I love this dangle. She crocheted flowers. Um, this tatting is amazing. Look at that. Look at how thin that thread is. It, it's, I wish I could do this. I just, I can't with my fingers, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And the leaves that she crocheted, look at that. It's just beautiful. And... I hope I did them justice <laughs> and I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little strange uh, it's very late at night and I wanted to get this video done so I could get it up 
and so I'm kind of um, bungling this a little bit. Here's some uh, seam binding to hang it up with and then on the back I just finished it off with some um, felt and then to just kind of hide the um, the knot that I made for this I added two more of, or three more of those little, no it's two more of those little doilies so yeah that's it and, and this um, image I I transferred it onto muslin and I just love that image it is so adorable so yeah this is it this is the um, I guess embroidery hoop wall hanging I'll call it and I just I really had fun making it so thank you so much Sierra for sending me these goodies to play with and um, hopefully you like it and if you'd like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll be back again soon with another project share. Bye for now.